Hello to my year 9s, 9G. Uh, this is Mr. Reed with a bit of an online demo that might help you with your latest assignment for art, which was the public sculpture design, which was based, we wanted you to base it on your um, investigations of the three artists so far, which who are Anthony Gormley, Henry Moore, and Alberto Giacometti. So this is our um, objective for this video demo, um, to combine separate influences, so the influences of those three artists, to inform the design of a public sculpture. Okay. So we've already looked at those three artists and they, their various ways of abstracting the human figure. Anthony Gormley with his famous uh, public sculpture, um, The Angel of the North. And then Henry Moore with his marble sculptures, curves and holes in them. Uh, and then Alberto Giacometti with more interior work. He, his works are usually displayed indoors, his 3D works. But the, the skinny men, so making uh, the human anatomy shrunken and shriveled and thin. Um, anyway, so this is this is my bit of a shortcut way which will help you design that sculpture. If you're struggling with it and you think, how on earth am I going to show um, the setting, which is that roadside on a on a main road coming into Boston, uh, and also envisage that um, sculpture on the side of the road and show that all in 3D? Well, you were looking at uh, perspective earlier in the year, and this is going to help you a lot uh, with this because you're going to need to show perspective be handy if you've got something like this in your house and it could be anything that's kind of like a figure an action figure and I recognize you guys are near the age you probably have been chucking out all your action figures uh, but luckily for me I've got uh, young kids and they've got loads of these still but if you've still got a box of action figures somewhere in the attic or something it might be an idea to dig them out because they can be very useful as uh, like a makeshift mannequin well, you could use the arms, much like Anthony Gombley used the wings of the Angel of the North to almost look like the protector of the North East. You could do something with the arms slightly different or slightly similar. Maybe like arms out, outstretched, like offering something, you know. It's up to you how you do it. I've laid out four or five sheets of paper on the table and then I've drawn a bird's eye view of a roundabout. Okay, it could be any roundabout. What you can then do is position your head when you start drawing at an angle so it appears at a different perspective. Alright, and I'm going to go into more detail in a minute and show you that. So a good way to get this vantage point is to get, get a cushion, uh, put it next to a table, like a kitchen table or something where you eat your dinner, and sit on that cushion and your eye line will be just above that tabletop, okay, just about there. And you'll be simulating that view of that driver coming up about to do something on the roundabout, either turn left, straight ahead, or right. And you're going to see that figure in the background. And basically, that aspect ratio, so the rectangle that you've got fitting that all in it, will be the rectangle of your paper. So I've roughly drawn this out now and as you can see I've created that illusion of perspective uh, drawing back on that info that we, we learned earlier in the year uh, in the foreground the road is going to appear wider because it's closer to us and then recede into the distance as it goes over that roundabout Okay, uh, the ones to the left and right are about the same because they're on the horizontal uh, the figure I have drawn out uh, follows the proportions of this action figure but from this point onwards you're going to stop looking at the um, action figure and then design that man or figure or person whoever it is um, so that they look like they've drawn influence from Henry Moore, Alberto Giacometti and Anthony Gormley and that's the bit I leave up to you. Good luck!